Peace world, it is your girl, the real Tony Hickman. And uh, I'm making this video today because I was watching a video on somebody else and they were talking about uh, Fully Raw Christina, which is a YouTuber who has been on YouTube for a long time, but she basically, you know, changed a lot of things in her lifestyle. And um, yeah, she, her skin got more beautiful. I mean, all of that. I follow her because I love her recipes, but also I just like the idea of working to live at your optimum best. And so this YouTuber was like deg degrading uh, Fully Raw Christina. And I watched it all the way through. But afterwards, I was, I realized, because this is a thought that I've had, like, it's so many people that want to force people to think their way or see things their way or, you know, understand their perception of things. But the reality is, like, a smoker is going to smoke, a drinker is going to drink, a meat eater is going to eat meat until they decide to stop doing these things, or if they decide. And furthermore, whatever you believe works for you. And so, uh, for me, I love the way Fully Raw Christina eats. I have eaten meat even though I was raised a uh, vegetarian, you know, teenage years. Yeah, I was crazy about Taco Bell and my Whoppers and my Big Macs. And, you know, I probably had a couple of pork chops, but I never really had a whole bunch of pork chops. But I ate meat and everything in New Orleans, you know. But the health message that was instilled in me is what brought me back to eating healthy and i believe stress can cause more issues than any other thing that we deal with it's not just like um you know what you eat is causing issues it's how your body is receiving this this stuff that you eat and so as a certified naturopath, what I know really can work for people is 80% raw, 20% cooked. So even if you are deciding to eat meat, not that I am encouraging it or going against it, okay? I don't eat meat. I don't believe in eating meat. But I know that we live in a world that eats meat. And that is their choice they we all grow at our own time and i cannot force your hand or your mind to change your way and i don't choose to like i've lived that life already where i'm just like preaching because i know better but you know every new vegan preaches because they know better and then you just come to the realization that you know life is going to go on and the best thing that you can do is do right by yourself. So yeah, I am a stroke survivor, a brain aneurysm survivor, and I have realized since I went raw vegan, I've had some changes. Um, and then, you know, I slacked up and I saw my changes kind of slack up. So what I choose for my life is raw vegan at this time. Um, but I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm here to give you my message. And if you receive it and you want to take it in, that's good. And if you don't want to take it in, that's cool too. You know, I'm going to just drop what I know about health because health has been instilled in me all my life. You know, so I'm just going to drop the knowledge that I have. And if you receive it, that's cool. And if not, it's okay. Because you learn at your own time. I done tried to tell a cigarette smoker, stop smoking cigarettes. That don't work. Like, it's not until that cigarette smoker decides that they want to stop smoking cigarettes that they stop. So, on that note, yes, I believe in raw vegan. I know about raw vegan. I am one of the certified naturopaths that actually lives on the health principle of eating more nature and you know health foods that really benefit my life and but what even furthermore 
I am my own experiment. I, I'm not experimenting on anybody else. I'm experimenting on myself, you know, and uh, the doctors experiment on us all the time. And so I choose to experiment on myself. So on that note, I want to tell y'all about these. If y'all don't know what these are, they are burrow bananas. Now, Dr. Sebi is big on these. And even though, like I said, I was brought up in the Seventh-day Adventist church, it was in America, and I knew nothing about these bananas until I got turned on to Dr. Sebi probably like seven years ago. And he started talking about the benefits of burrow bananas. So they're high in iron. They are great for people with kidney issues. They're great if you're having menstrual issues and pains and different things like that. Uh, they are good for um, if you're anemic, like it's good for that. And then, of course, all of your fruits are going to be good for just ingesting some vitamin D because they are closest to the sun on the trees, you know. And so your, your, your oranges, your apples, everything that grows high is still going to be good for you. Um, so, yeah. But that's, that's check out your burrow and find out maybe where you would get them in your city because I know in Houston, the only place I've seen them is uh, Fiesta and the small bananas also because he recommends those too. But the, um, the burrow bananas, I like them because they're big. And then you can cook with these things too. I'm, I saw somebody doing a recipe with like, um, with making these like mashed potatoes. So look into that too. It's all over YouTube. But yeah, I just wanted to share my philosophy on that. Uh, just judging people because of their choices. Like we all make choices, even raw vegans. They may slip up. I have slipped up and I've been raw vegan this time since January 2nd. Um, and I slipped up in July and I hopped back on in August and I ate a few things I shouldn't eat. So, you know, it's trial and error as I learn through these emotional changes what I need to do. You know what I mean? But, um... I believe in live and let live. Like I have friends that do smoke, that do drink, and they know my message, but I don't force it down their throat. I don't, like that's useless. You understand? Like you gotta let people be, let people be who they are. So um, yeah, that's what it is y'all. It's your girl, the real Tony Hickman, and yes, I do health, I do music, I do a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. And somebody told me, well, you need to change your channel and do two channels. One for music and one for your stroke surviving and then one for health. And I tried that, but this stroke brain is just like all over the place. So y'all gonna get my music on this channel. <laughs> You're gonna get the health on this channel and you're gonna get my stroke stories on this channel because that's just what it is. And I love y'all, and I hope y'all follow me because of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a plethora of things just like everybody else. So, yeah, follow that. I love y'all. TheRealTonyHickman.com. Peace.